today's video is about how to lower bun blood urea nitrogen in your body and this is related to kidney disease if you're watching this video and you're trying to learn about how to lower your bun you don't have kidney issues it can still apply to you there's still good tips here for whatever issues your bun may be high so let's get into it let's get your bun level down or the bun level of whoever you're trying to get down by watching this video and i can guarantee if you do some of these things you will lower that bun level so bun what is it you'll see it on your, your blood work generally listed in capital letters b-u-n bun and it stands for blood urea nitrogen okay urea is a metabolic waste okay it's part of protein metabolism protein breakdown you can also call it a toxin it's an easy way to refer to it we like to refer to these things as just toxins okay so blood urea nitrogen you can say is a level of how much toxins in your body because if that bun is higher there's other metabolic waste that we don't measure on blood tests that will be higher also if that bun is higher so you have a lot of toxins built up okay that bun is high how do we want to get it down first and foremost is water consumption drinking water good old h2o water okay uh, water if you're dehydrated your bun will go high adequate water will bring your bun level down now with kidney disease you may be res uh, restricted on your fluid intake so make sure before you go drink an excessive water that you're okay to drink as much as you like. Um, if you have kidney issues, because in some later stages you can have swelling, you can be fluid restrictions. So make sure you're okay to drink enough water. Now there isn't a general guideline of how much water you should drink. No one's come out with, no major organizations, no major data has said this amount is, is the perfect amount for kidney disease or kidney issues. We have some you know, good guidelines, but there is no perfect amount. Uh, maybe one day someone will come up with it, but until then we don't, but you definitely want to stay hydrated. A lot of recommendations out there from the uh, classic eight, eight ounce glasses per day to half your body weight in ounces is a pretty, pretty good one, a pretty reliable one that we like to work with. And looking at a lot of uh, urine tests over the years, it looks like going by half your weight in body ounces is pretty good, but don't push yourself. Uh, don't overhydrate. that's not good, especially if you have kidney issues because you could cause swelling and other complications. And make sure you can hydrate properly and check with your doctor. Okay, so that's first, water. We got three more here. We have protein consumption. So if urea comes from protein and the nitrogen comes from urea, so that's all coming from protein, by lowering your protein, you're gonna have less fun. And with kidney disease, we know lowering protein generally almost always helps the kidney and helps the kidney disease and whatever issues you have there so lower your protein content if uh also you can look to switch to easier to digest proteins ones that don't cause as much toxins uh looking at less red meats even plant-based proteins are way way better and much better to have so that's also another option okay another one is pooping regularly having regular bowel movements in uh, holistic medicine, functional medicine, natural medicine, whatever you want to call it, holistic health healing, we always talk about poops. There's always courses on poops and bowel movements, good bowel health. And when it comes to kidney disease, this is so important because that's one way you get rid of that bun. That's one big way you get rid of all those toxins is through your bowel movements. So pooping regularly. At least having one good poop a day is what we recommend. One good bowel movement. If you have more, that's fine, but you should have one good one. And in kidney disease, we see a lot of constipation, a lot of gut problems. I've been through the whole gamut of gut problems. So having more water will help you. Having more fiber in your diet from fruits, vegetables, supplemental fibers will help. Uh, even showing now that laxatives even show benefit with people with kidney disease. Because when you poop regularly, you also help control your potassium level. So even if you have to use a safe laxative, which is kidney friendly, not a problem, because we like you to poop. Pooping is good. So I think you get the point there. Next, probiotics. Probiotics, that good bacteria. And if you're new to our channel, we have a lot of videos on probiotics and kidney health and what to do and fiber, so check those out. But probiotics, good bacteria for your digestive system. What happens with uh, kidney issues, and it raises that bun up, is that you get dysbiosis, okay, which is an imbalance 
of all the bacteria that's there. So getting good bacteria in through probiotics will big, big, big time lower that bun down and the more the better, okay? The more the better probiotics. It's, you really can't overdose on it. You wanna build gradually, but the magic number that you're looking to get like, like from a pill or a supplement is 25 billion and up, okay? So recently, my bun was elevated because I have a kidney transplant and my kidney issues. I've been taking 300 billion probiotic a day and it got my bun back from an elevated level. It wasn't, it was maybe about uh, 20 points higher than it should have been, 15, 20 points, and it got it down into a normal range. People hear billions and you get nervous. You're like, billions, that's, that's too many, 100 billion, that's, that's gotta be too much. No, actually it's, it's not anywhere near too much and it's actually not that much because when we talk about our, our gut health, we have trillions of bacteria there, trillions, and we're only just starting to learn about uh, what all these do. We don't even know most of them yet, okay? So we're so in the infancy of learning about them. So the more probiotics, the better. It'll get your bun down more, faster, quicker, and lower, all right? So don't be afraid to go into those billions. They even sell products that are 400 billion. There's a product on the market that's a trillion, one trillion, okay, per, per satchel. It's like a little, uh, little powder satchel. So more billions, the better, okay? That's how you get the bun down quick, fast. So just to recap this video, if you have elevated bun, how do you want to get it down? Water consumption, lowering your protein, regular poops and bowel movements, and probiotics, more the better. A lot of other things you can do for your kidney health. Uh, that's the basics for your bun, start there. But so many good things. Check out our channel, look at our website, learn so much more about what you can do to improve your kidney health. And from one kidney survivor to another, to your best kidney health, everybody. Bye.